what do we do when we encounter a mountain lion? Seems like it's been a long, long time. You know what I'm talking about? Let's go. Oh yeah, update. Okay, we made it. Um, I haven't been here apparently for eight years. That's what my phone told me. Uh, <laughs> let's check it out. Welcome to Hidden Villa. We are currently standing on the traditional lands of the Olon peoples. Take this moment to honor the indigenous peoples who have been living on and working this land. Okay, so here's the map. Looks like they have a hostel, education center, Education garden, sheeps and cows, a coop. All right, let's see where the trail takes us. Hey buddy. How's it going? What you up to today? <laughs> hey there. What you eating? Oh, there's someone in there too. Hey y'all. Hostel trail, half mile to Toyon, one mile to Grapevine. I'm not sure where to go. I'm not sure what trail to take, but as usual, I'm gonna start walking and see what happens. Uh, hopefully we won't get lost this time. <laughs> Let's see, what do we do when we encounter a mountain lion? Face lion, 
Back away slowly. Be large and shout. If attacked, fight back. Oh boy. everyone how are you all doing it's a beautiful beautiful hike it's so good to be out again <laughs> it's been a while it feels like uh, a couple announcements first uh we have a new series on my youtube channel some of you already know i'm calling it zen in real lives not life but lives so this is a great opportunity to uh, meet some practitioners around the world, ask them how they got into practice. People can share stories about uh, practice being used or implemented in their lives and things like that. So I'm pretty excited about it. Tom was our first guest, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Tom, for doing that again. Um, I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out. Also, I want to reach out and ask um, everybody who's subscribed to the channel and watches these videos of what kind of videos would be helpful for you. The whole reason why I created this project and created the Patreon community was to help support people in the practice no matter where they live. If you have an idea of what kind of videos would be helpful, let me know in the comments below and I will get on it and try to uh, help support you all out there. Okay, let's uh, continue this hike.
Apparently, this is called Elephant Mountain. Do you hear the sound of the elephant? Hmm. Signs of a mountain lion, I believe. Very interesting name for this place, Hidden Villa. It makes me wonder, hidden from what? I just recently read a teaching from Zen Master Sung Song Apparently, some months after 9-11 uh, uh, here in America, he was talking about how in the future that there's going to be much more fighting. There's going to be lots of water in some places, no water in some places. There's going to be lots of food in some places. Some places will have no food. There's going to be a lot more suffering in the world. One student 
heard that and then asked Zen Master Sung Song, so when this happens, where can we hide? And his response was, hide under the path. When we practice meditation and look inward, we see that there's really no safe place outside of ourself. What we end up usually doing is grasping outside of ourself for security, contentment, happiness, even for enlightenment. I just shared a story with the Patreon community about a monk who practiced for a very long time. And this monk realized that he had no interest in worldly things. And worldly things meaning he had no interest in, in money or family, relationship, food, anything like that. So he realized that he didn't have any likes and dislikes. But the problem was he would ask himself, what is this thing that has no likes or dislikes? So he decided to investigate that question and practice very hard. Many years go by and the question's still the same. What is this thing that has no likes and dislikes? And then we say, what is this I? Where does this I even come from? So it started to really bother him, right? So again, you can start uh, hearing grasping in this. Like he really wanted to know his true self. He decided to do something. Uh, apparently uh, seven was a lucky number. So he decided to sit seven days, no sleep. Not only did this monk decide to sit for seven days with no sleep, he said by the end of the seven days, if he hadn't attained enlightenment, that means realizing this true self, he will kill himself. And he was going to do that by jumping off a cliff. <laughs> so one day goes by, two days go by, three days go by. At the end of seven days, he did not realize anything. So he said, that's it. So he goes to the edge of the cliff, looks down, and right as he's about to jump, he perceived his true self, this experience of this enlightenment. I thought this is a very interesting story, right? Because again, we're always looking outside of ourself for teaching, for enlightenment, for happiness, for security. But there's something about our true self. This is the place that we can truly hide. I was having a conversation um, earlier this week from someone in the community and one teacher was telling him to quit his job and sit a retreat, a long retreat. And he asked me what I thought, and I thought that he should not do that. So that was interesting, right? So one teacher's telling him one thing, another teacher's telling him another thing. And I realized that when I was responding to him, I was doing this by a video message, that I was just looking at my own experience. So for my own experience, I would not leave my job to sit at a long retreat. And I'm perceiving that this teacher also was talking from their experience. So as I was doing this video message, I realized, you know what? It doesn't matter what I say or what the other teacher says. What's most important is what do you say? We already have the answer inside. We already know what to do from moment to moment to moment. But like this monk, if we're grasping after something, even enlightenment, then our view is clouded. We cannot perceive clearly, so usually we do not know what to do. My recommendation to this person was, you know what? I have my idea. This person has their idea. You need to connect with your own intuition. When you connect with that, you already know what to do, moment to moment to moment. And really, that's the most important in our practice. There is no book or video or teaching that can truly help our life. When I look at this teaching, hide under the path, the way I perceive it is when we experience this true self, realize it right now in this moment, we are the path. And this path is for all human beings. Whatever's going on in this world, and there's a lot going on in this world, we all have the same job of understanding our true self. And when we can understand our true self, 
We know what to do from moment to moment to moment to moment. I want to leave you with a koan. This whole universe is on fire. Through what kind of samadhi can you escape from being burned? Those are my thoughts for the day. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I will see you soon.